Hello there guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about two things. Now remember there are actually a lot of newcomers to the Resident Evil franchise with Resident Evil 2 and due to that a lot of these individuals are not aware of the extra game modes and such that players from the original games obviously need to already look out for. So if you're a newer player and you're confused on how to unlock Hunk and Tofu's campaign as I'm seeing a few people pull confused about this, you just have to complete either character Leon or Claire's A campaign and then do the second playthrough on the alternate character. You'll see a new game mode pop up in the main menu for this and you have to play through like that. It's an alternate version of the game, I don't really consider it canon, it's more of a what if scenario and yeah it's pretty fun anyway and once you do that you unlock Hunk and Tofu. Now there's another thing I want to talk about. Resident Evil 2 has done something interesting, they've got some weekly challenges now, once you load into the main menu you can see this and you can register to this, but these are not aimed for casuals, I mean if you look at those challenges, they're extremely difficult. Now these will cycle at a regular basis giving us new challenges and I'm sure Capcom's going to probably keep the difficulty with these up. Upon completion you will get a platinum trophy medal or whatever you want to call it for this. It doesn't seem to have any in game purpose or anything's been found out about it at the moment. It might just be for vanity purposes but if information does come out that this has any particular use. I will update you guys on that because Capcom could do something really cool here and give us extra weapons or things like that that weren't in the base game or even the original Resident Evil 2 for completing these really difficult challenges. It would definitely be a good incentive to add replayability and retention to the game because honestly not really many people are going to go through and some of these are going to take. I'd say a lot of practice to get down pretty well before you can achieve even one of them. All of that just for some little icon on a website, I don't think that's the best idea so maybe they have something else planned. Now one last thing as many people were confused about this specific element, the Ghost Survivors DLC for Resident Evil 2 Remake is not actually going to cost anything. So the DLC is free, Capcom is being absolutely awesome with this. I have a few theories honestly about this, maybe it was cut content and that's why, but regardless, I'm going to take what I can get for free and I'm going to accept it happily. Now for my next video, I'm going to be doing something pretty interesting. I'm going to be looking through some of the more technical aspects of Resident Evil 2's remake and showing you guys a lot of things you might have missed. I'm not going to be talking about say the guitar and the jacket in the star's office, it's going to be a lot of the technical and just random aspects about the game from an engine and also other perspectives. So I hope you're looking forward to that and if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like, a share, a subscribe and also a hate comment or maybe just say I'm a clickbaiter, I love that one too. Like actually if you guys do not call me a clickbaiter I'm going to be mad. I hope you're having a beautiful day as always, take it easy and peace.